what's up guys got that blade machine gun going pop 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 um it is time to rank up the blade so we got a level up going on right now um so yeah let's do it let's do it let's rank this guy up unfortunately we're not able to rank him to rank five or rank four excuse me today as a five star which really does suck but it's all good man um I'm going to get rid of all this ISO just because, yeah. Am I ranking any tech champs? I don't think so. Science, I don't think so. Mutant, I don't think so. Um, yeah, let me clear out some ISO here because we're going to have to take him up another, another 45. Yeah, 45 levels. And um, what the heck, man? What's going on? I... That, I don't know what's going on. But yeah, I have some basics in the stash here, so let's claim those. But for ISO, uh, skill ISO, let's claim all that. Don't have a ton of skill ISO. I have a good amount. But yeah. Alright, let's pop those skill catalysts into him. And then, uh, ooh, we have a good amount of skill ISO at least. We have a good amount. I don't think we have enough. We might actually have enough. But once we do take him to rank 4, we're going to need uh, more ISO anyways. So yeah. All right, nice, there we go. Let's funnel all that ISO into him there. Uh, then let's go claim whatever skill ISO we have left. And man, yeah, I, I, I can't wait to awaken this guy and have him at rank four. Ooh, that prestige is gonna be so nice, so nice. All right, let's get rid of some of this stuff to clear out the, the inventory space here. Um, pop a couple of these, there we go. There we go, guys. Blade at rank 3, level 45. Not quite at uh, rank 4 yet, so my 4 star is still kind of the way to go. Um, but yeah, that's, that's fine. Uh, just because he's not awakened, but he's still he's still going to be a beast. Uh, let's go hop into uh, Winter Soldier, and let's see how many hits it takes. So, Winter Soldier... We won't have the danger sense up. I really want to know what it, this fight would be with the danger sense up. That'd be interesting. Um, but yeah, so let's bring in Stark Spidey for no, no, no. We don't need danger sense. Never mind. Let's just bring in the mutant crit team. So let's go Magneto, Wolverine, Cyclops, and let's bring in another Magneto because he's Neato. All right. Wait, wait, wait. No, 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 no. That's a two-star. Let's, let's get a three-star Magneto. Uh, there we go. All right. This team ought to be good. Now, let's test out Blade's damage. Uh, we're just going to be spamming that L2. And, yeah, so the his signature ability won't affect the damage output here at all. So, nothing to worry about there. Just, just you know, that prestige and the, that overall regen utility. Um... What would be really fun to do is to kill Winter Soldier in zero hits and just parry him. That would be insanely fun to do, but that would take a long time. Maybe I'll do that sometime. <laughs> oh god, that that take so long. I, I'd definitely wait until he's rank 4 to do something like that, though. For the increased bleed damage, of course. But damn, look at all those bleeds. Looking good, looking good. Alright, let's make sure we keep on parrying to keep build the, uh, the power. Passive power gain, of course. Parry those specials. And just keep rinsing this level 2. Ooh, pop, pop, pop. Blade is just such a sick champ, man. I'm really I'm really glad that I did go for him as the 5 star. Some people ask me, I've actually been getting a lot of comments, so I might as well just clear it up here. A lot of people are asking me why I went for Blade and not uh, Stark Spidey. And uh, the answer is really, uh, where I'm at in the game, I'm looking for 5-star champions to bring to rank 4. I have a lot of the materials. Um, well, it's, it's ironic that I am missing that one skill catalyst, but I'll have that by the end of the next AQ, hopefully. Um, but what I mean by that is just I have T2 alphas. Um, I, I'm in that spot where I need that prestige. I'm going to be 100%ing Labyrinth of Legends. Uh, oh god, a lot of power there. Um, and yeah, I, I just need, I really just need uh, more rank 4 champions, more 5 star champions that I want to rank up to that level. Um, and I already have Stark Spidey, the only thing with him is awakening him, 
which I will have multiple ways to do, I'm sure, uh, via offers this year or just uh, 5.4. Um, maybe some special event that comes at Christmas, maybe more rifts, who knows. There's a, there's always going to be more ways to get 5-star Awakening Gems um, as, as the game progresses. So, you know, I'm sure we're going to get an Awakening Gem for Stark Spidey, even if it is just Labyrinth 100%. There's a generic there. That's guaranteed. Dang it, I accidentally used the L3 there, but that's okay. Um, but yeah, if it, if it is, if it comes down to it, the Labyrinth generic, maybe I'll have to pop that in Stark Spidey, you know? But I'm sure, I'm absolutely positive, 100% sure, um, that there's going to be a generic from Act 5. I just, I know it, I know it. People say, it's not people, some people say I'm crazy, but I know it, man. I'm telling you guys right now, there'll be the generic. You got the legacy guarantee on that one. Um... I just know it. it wouldn't make sense if there wasn't. Uh, if there's going to be a, a random class awakening gem in just 5.3 in the third chapter of Act 5, there's no way in heck that it's not going to be a generic for the end of 100% of Act 5. So, yeah, I, I, I just know it. And I, I got Blade now. I secured the champion, uh, the rank 4 champion that I wanted. Uh, that's also paired amazing with Stark Spidey. It's another one of the reasons why he's just so good with Stark Spidey. Um, and so my Alliance War team is always going to be Stark, Spidey, and Blade together, which paired together is just going to make them monstrous. Um, so yeah, they just complement each other very nicely. They both have good synergies for each other. And also, uh, I'm going to be bringing Blade to Labyrinth of Legends. So not only was this for prestige, utility, to complement Stark, Spidey, because um, I really like the champion, but it's also going to be uh, for Labyrinth of Legends and to help me through a lot of paths. So, just all around, just such a great champion to pull. I'm going to be using him everywhere in the game. Um, so, yeah, it was really just once I thought about it like that, some people helped me bring it down to that because it's funny. Um, before Blade came out, I was really on the Blade hype train. I pretty much, me and Seton, pretty much started the Blade hype train. Um, but I hopped off of it. I hopped off of it and. Uh, and yeah, I decided I wasn't going to go for him, and then I started talking, thinking about it more and more, and I just decided I was going to go for one, <laughs> one led to two, two led to three, three led to four, and four led to five, and then we got him. So, yeah, man, I'm glad, no regrets at all, no regrets at all um, with what happened. Really glad that I now have the champion secured, and at the end of the day, that's all that matters. If, even if I don't do Stark Spidey, it's all good, man, because we got Blade, and, uh, Blade, yes, Blade is unawakened as well, but like I said, there's going to be multiple ways, I'm sure, this year to get the Awakening Gems. Um, yeah, I'm sure we'll get there. It, it's really unfortunate that uh, the two classes that I need for Awakening Gems are uh, Tech and Skill, and I've opened up five Awakening Gems, and I have not pulled either of those classes. So, it really sucks that I've been unlucky with RNG up to this point on the five-star Awakening Gems. But uh, that's just the way she goes. Just the way she goes, I guess. Um, so, but yeah, hopefully we can get lucky on the Awakening Gem soon. But like I said, generic from 5.4, generic from Labyrinth, Stark Spidey, Blade, bada bing, bada boom, there they are, Awakened. But that's the end of the fight, guys. No potion. Not that I need the potion, but uh, 366 hits uh, with Blade. The hit count, it's not what matters. Um, it doesn't matter. It's the time it takes in a fight like this, which I wasn't timing it. I just wanted to take down Winter Soldier with Blade here for funsies. Um, but yeah, guys, like Blade's hit count, you can't judge it by that because with a four-star Star Lord in Labyrinth of Legends um, on Red Hulk, I was averaging about 160 to 190 at most. Usually, I never broke 200 uh, with combos or with a four-star before a double enrage. I went in there with my 4-star blade on Red Hulk, and I hit um, over 250 hits. So it it's very subjective uh, to hit count for blade because L2 has about 9 components to it. So, uh, yeah, you can't judge it by that. Um, but, yeah, just to finish up here, guys, this is blade all ready to go. Cannot wait till I get this last skill catalyst, guys. We're so close. Those alphas, I could buy them right now from Valor or Glory. Um... Either way, I, those aren't the problem. It's just that one last skill catalyst. We're so close to... Well, actually, no, we're not that close. Well, 
Oh, if I have to wait to form it, that might take like two or three AQs, man. Uh, but yeah, man, I, I just want, hopefully we can pull it. I don't know. Maybe from a T45 Catalyst Crystal, man. I, I just need that skill catalyst. Just want to rank for my blade. Um, really want to do some testing with him in Labyrinth. Um, yeah, guys, that's going to be the end of this video. Blades at rank three. Uh, cannot wait to get this character to rank four. Um, and once we do that, when I make that rank of video, we'll probably have a Red Hulk fight instead of a Winter Soldier fight. So that'll be a lot of fun. But yeah, just to finish up here, his base attack is insanely good. Uh, 1451, that's really good. Um, his base health is uh, almost 16,000, which is also insanely good. Um, his critical rating is pretty good, 23%. It's a little on the lower, lower, lower end of things, but it's not bad. Um, and the L2, where, which you, where, you, where all, the crit is important to get the bleeds, he has an increased crit chance by about 2,000 rating. So that's like his base rating times about four, almost. So yeah, that's not not nothing really to worry about. The critical damage rating is all right, uh, and then his block proficiency is pretty good. Base block proficiency 64%, pretty good on the average, and armor rating 80%. So base stats are great great champion cannot wait to get him to rank four so yeah hope you guys did enjoy this rank up video and uh just my thoughts on why i went for five star blade maybe i'll have to make that a separate video because might be lost in this video but uh yeah just maybe a video about talking about why i went for blade over stark spidey because i did make that video saying to go for stark spidey um but yeah it doesn't really apply to me because i know stark spidey how to play him extremely well um and mine being unawakened doesn't really change the fact too much. I'm just losing on some crit, uh, which I, I definitely proved in my Labyrinth run that I don't need him to have him awakened. I surprise myself that I don't. I really don't need him awakened to do Labyrinth. Um, yeah, it definitely would be nice. It would be nice for sure. Don't get me wrong. But, yeah, I, I, I just wanted to get Fugo for Blade. So I'm going to stop rambling, guys. That's going to be the end of this video. Hope you guys did enjoy. Smash that like button for the Blade. Uh, we called Kabam's Bluff to get this guy. We, we, looked, them in, we looked up there. Look at the Kabam gods and call that bluff. Um, <laughs> oh man, that, that video is so great, so great. But uh, yeah, guys, thank you so much for watching. If you did enjoy, hit the like button, hit the subscribe button. It really does help me out. Thank you guys so much for watching. Peace out.